Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here -hoo -hoo -hoo, with Angel Souls. Uh, this is for May 25th, 2022. We already have two cards out. AngelSouls444.com for personal readings. Make sure you're buying your ticket for the bright event that's happening on June 6th, 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific. All about raising your frequency, being in alignment, and setting your intentions with Archangels. The reason why that is imperative right now is because we are not trusting our instincts when we're dealing with certain energies. And I just got a ping in my ear as I said that. So we really need to be in alignment so that our radar system <laughs> is working properly and it's not sort of the ego judging and, and trying to press people down so that you feel more important, but rather really sensing like this person's up to no good. That's not safe. I shouldn't do that. I should wait. I should, you know what I'm saying? So that's an imperative one. Link is in the description box below. So we have pay attention to your dreams and explore your options. The pay attention to your dreams says, thank you for tucking me into bed tonight and helping me enjoy a wonderfully restful night's sleep. Archangel Michael, I invite you into my dreams as my teacher, guide, and healer. Please allow me to understand the situation on a spiritual level and give me guidance. And wait for that one. <laughs> Let me just talk about this card. You guys, listen, you're going to wake up from dreams that are really, there's something about our psyches really cracking open. And if you want to see the sort of like the soul light is coming through that. Yeah. And then they're showing me that um, the psychological self tries to clamp back down because it's like, what is happening? I'm losing my mind. Click. <laughs> right. So it tries to push it back out. Spirit's not going to be pushed back out anymore. I mean, it's. It's in a deep time. Now, this is also saying don't take things too literally, okay? So if you dream of someone, you know, flying away or whatever, you think like, oh no, they're going to leave me or whatever. It might mean more that that person is trying to soar above whatever they're working on. And maybe you're being invited to follow them and soar with them. Or um, it could be if you're dreaming of flying, it could be you flying off to your goals. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you're raising up and answering a call. Now, again, go back and watch the weekly. If you've already seen it, it's a long one. So take it in, you know, pieces if you need to, but make sure you go back and see it again because drastic, drastic, drastic changes. The world is not going to look the way we expect it to. It's just not. As I record this today, it's May 20th. And we have a snowstorm here in Colorado that is, it's cold. And it was 90 degrees yesterday. Literally went from wearing shorts and a tank top to having to get up this morning and put on a sweater. So, you know. So what's going to be happening here is that there's going to be a little bit of rattling. And the more stuck in our ego that we are, and we all do it, okay, we get scared, we get stuck in our ego. The more we do that, um, the more we lean on vices to make us feel better the more we rob ourselves of true connection, the more we rob ourselves of true love. You know, if we hang on to defensiveness, I'm guilty of this, blocking my heart because I'm so scared of being hurt that um, if someone seems too good to be true, I just shut them out. And I'm like, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, I could never. But really in the back of my head, I'm like, why would you ever want me? You know, I mean, I think a lot of us, I've heard people go through that. You know, I know I'm not alone in that. I've had conversations, but, um, you know, it, it's that sort of thing. Like you might be having dreams that make you realize you're the reason why you don't have love or you're the reason why <laughs> like, you're sabotaging yourself, but it's not a time for blame. It's not a time for self-blame. It's a time for um, a lot of self-love, loving yourself through that and saying, it's okay. It's okay. Now I know. Now I know and I can move on and, and it's all good. <laughs> all right. So then we had explore your options. Dear God, thank you for your wisdom and love, helping me see, un understand, and assess all of my alternative options. Please guide me in the best direction for my health, happiness, and life's purpose. Now, what this is talking about, again, we were going down that road in the weekly of changing our goals, changing what we think is going to make us happy. And it's not over intellectualizing it. It's not overthinking it. Again, you may realize like, I don't care if I have the highest position in a company. That's not what makes me happy. What makes me happy is being close to my loved ones. 
what makes me happy is having a simple life, you know, just being able to um, get up and live and not feel like I have to be in charge of a bunch of people or I have to serve other people or <laughs> whatever the case may be. Now, that doesn't mean that you don't have a job, <laughs> right? But it means you go off and do a certain kind of career that's more in alignment with your happiness. All right. So we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.